hello you guys this is Felicia inspired today I'm going to be showing you my eyebrow routine okay to begin with I'm going to go ahead and clean up my eyebrows with my razor and I ordered this eyebrow razor off Amazon and it is very very sharp so I know I should have put um like a oil or a grease to uh, I arch my eyebrow but I just went ahead and did it anyway just to kind of exfoliate that skin a little but but I would highly recommend that you use some kind of grease or oil so that you don't cut yourself with the razor but this is what I'm doing to clean it up and also please be reminded that this razor is very very sharp this isn't the normal razor that you would buy out of the store it doesn't have a guard on it and i will make sure i include that information for you when you are arching your eyebrow you want to make sure that you pull that skin on um, pretty tight so that you don't cut yourself i promise you <laughs> You will see later on in the video that I will kind of nick my skin just a little bit. Like I say, this razor is very, very sharp. So just take your time. Just use some type of serum or grease or anything that's kind of slippery so that you can um, arch that eyebrow without cutting or nicking your skin. As you can see, I do have a little cut um, above my eyebrow there, but I do take off the tail of my eyebrows because I generally do my eyebrows every day. So I find it much easier just to take the tail off of my eyebrows and leave the beginning part. And it makes it very, very smooth. Now I'm going to use my makeup removal wipes and you can find these at your local Walmart. I'm going to use the wipes to remove any oils. I'm also going to be using my Master Prime by Maybelline to prime and prep my eyebrows. So right now all I'm going to do is just take my NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer and I'm going to put it on my eyebrow and I like to put that on there because I'm using eyeshadow I do not use any gels I don't use any powders I use eyeshadow to do my eyebrows and I find out that this is um, the best thing to use so I'm going to use a angled brush to put the eyeshadow on I got this from my local Dollar Tree in the line of this I, this brush is called Chic and I'm going to be using Virtuous Woman palette and I will link all of that information in the box below. I love this palette. I'm going to be using the dark brown. The palette is pretty much a natural palette so I'm going to use the dark brown to fill in my eyebrows. This is a matte eyeshadow palette. It do have other colors as well and in the virtuous woman palette it has different um different colors and we'll talk about that but here i'm going to begin applying my eyeshadow to my eyebrow so all i'm going to do at this point is just outline the eyebrow i'm going to outline the tail first and then i'll connect the front once you make those lines, then you will just fill in the middle of the eyebrow, give it that shape, and then I just pretty much taper in on the front. And you can just take your time and do this. It's no rush. And just kind of brush it in on the beginning to give it a fade. And when you do, do your eyebrows, you want to take your time once you do this quite often, 
it will become more easier over time and it'll take you less time to do this but if you're a beginner please make sure that you take your time and if you do your your base well i say your foundation if you do your foundation as perfect as possible it's going to make your life easier when you go in to do your cleanup with your concealer so make sure that you try to be as perfect as possible do understand that practice makes perfect it doesn't come overnight you have to put in practice so i'm going to be using pro conceal and you can get this from your local beauty supply store or you can go on amazon and purchase this is where your cleanup comes in. All you're going to do is take your lighter color and underline the, the bottom portion of your eyebrow. When you do your eyebrows, you want to use a lighter concealer underneath. And then you'll use a darker concealer on top which will match your skin tone more. So during your cleanup process, this is why I told you to apply your eyeshadow to outline your eyebrow in a clean fashion because it's very important. You don't want to have a lot of eyeshadow in the way when you apply the concealer. If you have too much eyeshadow in the way and you have to do a lot of cleaning, you will see that eyeshadow bleed through. The concealer so here I'm going to go on top and I do this after I do the bottom it makes it more easier I like to start underneath first and then do the top portion of the eyebrow last because it seems to make it a lot easier so that you have a guide of how much you need to take off or how much you need to remove so you can try that, but whatever works for you, you can do either one first. Some people like to use a brush, but I think for me, it's easier to just use the brush that comes with the Pro Conceal, which is another reason that I like Pro Conceal. And also it is very thick and easy to apply. It goes on very, very smooth. When you are putting your eyeshadow in, you may have some spots that you have to go back and touch up. And all you have to do is just get your brush and touch in little spots here and there if you need to. Now I'm going to use a flat round brush to blend the concealer in and you can apply some more but you can um, when you are applying the concealer make sure that you put enough on so that it doesn't have any scrapes in it but using your flat round brush is going to help you blend it in so that everything can blend when you are applying your foundation for your makeup look. And also make sure you get the lines out of the middle of the brow. And you can do this on both sides of the eyebrow. Make sure you blend. Makeup is all about blending and making everything look smooth. And then when you're done doing that, just go ahead and go to the bottom. And you're gonna pull that concealer downward so that you can smooth out any lines or any crevices or anything in the creases because this is going to be pretty much kind of a, it's gonna act as a highlight. And it's also going to act as a base when you apply your eyeshadow. So make sure that you blend that in pretty well so that it doesn't look crazy when you go in to apply your eyeshadow. And this is pretty much the finished look. 
If you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And I will also bring you more tutorials on how you can do eyebrow sculpting. And this is pretty much my completed makeup look. It's something simple, something neutral. If you like, please share, comment in the box below. Thank you guys again for watching this video.